the dusty roads to Jerusalem and the cobblestone streets within the city were familiar stomping grounds for our Lord Jesus. This journey, though, into the city of David was going to be different, for he was going to claim his city as his own. He, who had always walked the streets of Bethany, Galilee, Jerusalem, and Samaria, puts forth a strange request to two of his disciples to go into the villages ahead of them, to find a donkey and its colt, to untie them, and to just to tell the owner that the master needs them for his ride into Jerusalem. The disciples were no strangers to the request of their master, for they had seen the water change to wine, the healing of the sick, the deliverance of demons, the calming of the storms, and the walking on water. They were rock stars with a front row seat to all that the Messiah had done. And yet, here they are, four days before the Passover, they have several lessons to learn. First, they had to be humbled, and yet they had to learn the hard lessons of overcoming fear with faith. They were to betray, they were to deny, and they were to deny the cross, for they fled. They even missed out on the Gethsemane experience because they were asleep. How could they then become the linchpins of taking the message of Jesus Christ to the rest of the world? And the cross stood before them before they could experience the highs of the empty tomb. The ride on the donkey took place to fulfill a prophecy by the prophet Zechariah. And it says, Say to the daughter Zion, See, your king comes to you gentle and riding on a donkey and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The king of kings chose a donkey rather than a chariot of fine horses to ride into Jerusalem to claim his throne. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, records these events, and I will read the three verses from 6 to 9. The disciples went ahead and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches and trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of them and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest of heavens. The cry was for a savior to save them from the Roman oppression. The high taxes, the oppressive regimes was just too much for them. And they saw their hope in a Messiah that will deliver them from Roman oppression pretty soon. What they did not realize that it was for a far greater purpose that the Messiah was to become the Passover lamb for all of mankind. Palm leaves in the hands of the young and the old lined the streets of Jerusalem, not the swords in the hands of a cavalry. Palm leaves and dirty cloaks were laid on the pavement and not a red carpet ushered the King of Kings into Jerusalem. The donkey, nor its master, had a name, even though the event is narrated in all of the four Gospels. Every event in this timeline was fulfilled as per a prophecy scripted by the hand of God. What do we cry out for today? Freedom from financial worries, the burden of sickness, the uncertainties of coming out of our COVID pandemic, the future of our retirement, the future of our children, the climate, gender, equality, and many more. There is no mention of sin anywhere. And yet, this is the single biggest obstacle that stands in the way of our deliverance from an eternity that is promised uh, to mankind about 2,000 years ago. Today, you and I are the donkeys that are called into service for our Savior. Through the streets of Manama, 
Montana, and Mumbai. There is the stench of sin and death all around. And yet, from these dark alleys, from where even angels fear to tread, comes the cry, save us, Hosanna. We are forsaken, and there is no place or person that is forsaken, for the hope and the light of Jesus is available for all. Are we obedient to this calling, faithful and humble, to be the donkey for Jesus, to ride on? If we do, do we then clamor for the glory that belongs to the rider and not to the ride? The people shout out to be saved can only be saved by his name. Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. As we celebrate this holy week, let this be our cry as we remember the events that changed the history of mankind 2,000 years ago. Mm -hmm.